what's going on YouTube it is your boy Dysmorphix here and as always I hope you guys are having yourselves a great day now in this video I'm gonna go over my class setups for both core and hardcore and I'm also gonna give you guys some tips and tricks to help you guys get some nuclears and high kill gameplays now the first thing I'm gonna tell you is that I really enjoy using the CUDA in both core and hardcore it is my favorite gun in the game I have about 26,000 kills with it and about 4,000 and then below that on every other gun now I use grip fast mag extended mags rapid fire with overclock scavenger and tactical mask now this setup is almost identical to the next one I'm gonna show you which is the weevil and it uses the exact same perks and the exact same attachments which is grip fast mags extended mags rapid fire I mainly use this when I'm playing hardcore because it has a really big clip and with rapid fire grip and extended mags this gun is amazing now my core Razorback setup is a little bit different and I use the ELO Sight, Grip, Rapid Fire, Extended Mags, Fast Mags, and I use just Scavenger and Tactical Mask. Scavenger is a must on everything if you're going for some high kill gameplays because you don't want to have to run out of bullets, get killed on your kill streak, or have to pick up someone's other gun and it's just really weird attachments like a Pharaoh with a Barracks 3 and Suppressor like it is an example that would be awful to pick up and then die off your kill streak. Now, my hardcore Razorback setup is just grip, fast mags, extended mags with overclock, scavenger, fast hands with a C4, I use C4 to throw it into the enemy spawn, explode it when they come running out after we're done spawn trapping and get a quad feed with it. It's very useful, lethal to use. Now, my last setup, I basically use this just when I'm messing around in Nuketown, but I found it's actually amazing. That's the 205 Brecky with the extended mag, long barrel, rapid fire, and fast mags. And I use overclock, scavenger, and then gung ho just so I can run and gun with a shotgun. And it's just an amazing gun, and it's really fun to use. Now, the specialist that I use is almost always Heat Wave. Uh, I just love using Heat Wave. It helps me so much, especially when I need to stun like three or four people and get easy quad feed and fast streaks really quickly. If you don't want to use Heat Wave, I do recommend using Combat Focus. It is a amazing specialist to use, especially when you're trying to get your streaks to get up there in the higher kills. Now, score streaks vary depending on what you're trying to do. When you're going for nuclears, I always suggest using a UAV, counter UAV, and hater. If you're going for high-end gameplays in core, I recommend you swap out your UAV and counter UAV to a Wraith and Raps. And always run hater just because it helps you find where other players are. Now, if you're playing hardcore, I recommend you do UAV, Raider, uh, Raider, UAV, Wraith, and hater. So that's about all for the setup. Now we're going to go into some gameplay and I'm going to teach you guys, or not teach you guys, but tell you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned over uh, the course of playing Black Ops 3 to help you guys get some nuclears and help you guys just... Alright guys, we're back in the gameplay. Now this is where I'm going to tell you about some tips and tricks about how to get 100 pluses and nuclears. Now real quick though, if you guys could drop a thumbs up right now, this was my fastest nuclear that I've gotten in Black Ops 3 so far. It was a 76 second nuclear, which isn't the fastest. The fastest is 56 seconds, I believe. But this was also solo, and it was just my personal best. So it would be greatly appreciated if you guys would drop a thumbs up on this video. But let's just jump straight into it. So when you're trying to go for 100 pluses and nuclears, what you want to do is try your best to get as many friends in the lobby as possible. Now I know in this gameplay what I just said, uh, I was solo and I got a 76 second nuclear, but it just varies from game to game. But of what I've noticed is the majority of the time when you have teammates with you, it just makes the game all around a lot easier to control. The spawns are a lot easier to control and it makes it a lot more enjoyable of a game. Now what you also want to do is what I stress a lot is use a gun you are comfortable with. Don't go off of everyone else's opinion saying, oh, the Razorback is overpowered, oh, the CUDA is overpowered. You just want to use what you enjoy. If that means using the Dingo or using the BRM or the Gorgon, use it. The better you are with the gun you're most comfortable with is what you're going to get a nuclear with. If you're trying to use a gun you're not comfortable with and try to get a nuclear, I'm just saying it's probably not going to happen as quickly. Now it can happen and it will, but using a gun you're comfortable with is what's going to get you the nuclear the fastest. If you are going for a nuclear, what you want to use for score streak wise is UAV counter UAV hater. Now these help you just be able to see the enemy non-stop, make it where they can't see you by using the counter UAV and all around just makes it a lot easier to find an enemy and not have them come up behind you and kill you because it's very frustrating. 
Now, if you are going for 100 pluses, I recommend using the Wraith, the Hater, and the Raps, mainly because when you call in your Wraith and then you call in your Hater and your Raps, you have two things that are NPCs trying to kill stuff for you, and on top of that, you are trying to get kills as well. So overall, it makes it a lot faster getting kills and just a lot more easier. If you are playing hardcore though, do not use the Raps because you don't want to accidentally kill a teammate and then get kicked. Now spawn trapping is something that is very useful for both getting a nuclear and obviously getting a 100 plus. What you want to do when spawn trapping is knowing the spawn points. Now if you're playing solo you obviously can't spawn trap so just try to jump in and out of the spawn as fast as you can so you can get them to respawn in the spawn and not behind you in the opposite spawn. Now if you're playing as a team I believe something with a C4 somewhere I have no idea I've seen it before but you can place down certain things in certain areas and they won't spawn past these. So if you, I believe if it still works, you can take a sentry gun and put it in your spawn's window on Nuketown, and then in the enemy spawn, they will just continuously spawn there, there's a few couple spots, and it just makes it so you guys can continuously farming kills, uh, but it does cause people to rage quit, so sometimes you will get lobbies where you're going off and then everyone will leave, and that's just something you have to deal with, but spawn trapping is probably the best way and only way to get the 100 plus, and nuclear, it is a lot faster to spawn trap but you don't need to and the last thing i want to stress out i know this was not really the like most detailed description of how to get 100 plus is nuclear it's really all dependent on you i'm just trying to give you an outline of what you need to use but the very last thing what i want to talk about is stay calm and just play the game now staying calm is probably the best way to play call of duty today i was getting just destroyed or spawn trapped because stupid teammates or teammates would be walking in front of me and I'd get kicked out of the lobby when I'm about to drop 100 plus. Now when those things happen you just need to relax, get back into it and go for it again. Raging, you can rage every once in a while but if you constantly rage you'll just get frustrated with the game and you're not going to enjoy it as much. So I recommend just trying to stay calm, play the game and play it to the best of your ability and continuously grind the game to get better because nothing's going to come overnight. So that's about all for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. If you have any questions that I have probably missed, just ask me in the comment section below. I respond almost instantly. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. We are, I believe, 10 subscribers away from 200 subscribers, which is amazing. And I couldn't thank you guys enough. I think I may be doing a giveaway at 200. I haven't decided yet, but we'll just see what happens when we get there. So, yeah, that's about all for this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.